welcome to the help video on Launchpad class link. I am Mrs. Tratner, one of the middle school teachers. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to launch our web browser through Google Chrome. So you're going to click on Google Chrome, which is the circle with the red, yellow, green, um, circle with the blue dot. And once you have opened Google Chrome, what we're going to do is we are going to log into Google Chrome. And the way that we do that is we click on the little lines on the right hand side and we're going to go down to sign in to Chrome. And you're going to select that. And then you're going to use your um, password and login page that you received at the back to school orientations. Um, and if you did not attend those, then you should have received those in email from your SLA. So we're going to sign into Chrome using our student email account. So you can go ahead and do that. And you type in your student email account and the password. And you're going to go ahead and click sign in. Once you have signed in, um, you should have a little home button up at the top, right where my reload page is. And you're going to go ahead and click on that. When you click on the home button, the login for class link will appear. And this is going to be our single sign on page. It is the home page when you are signed into Chrome. So all we'll have to do is sign into one site, and you'll be able to get to all of the other um, password secured sites from here. But we have a little bit of work to do before that can happen. So we're going to go ahead and log in to Launchpad. Um, that login and password is also on that sheet. It's the student email again and the password. And we'll go ahead and sign in. So all you need is the student email and the password. And you can go ahead and save your password, but you don't have to. And what will appear is your launch pad. And the launch pad has um, the apps on it that you will need for school. You can also add some of those in. And I'll do a separate video on how to add in um, apps to launch pad. So anything that has a key, you will initially have to put in the login and the password for that particular site. So for the school email, for the phase where help desk, like to create a trouble ticket, your K-12, your Lincoln Interactive, Canvas, and so on. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. And once you put it in one time, Launchpad will store that for you. And then all you'll have to do is go to Launchpad, sign in, and then you'll be able to go to all these sites. So it, it, it'll be very um, a time-saving um, experience for you during the year. It'll just be that one login. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. We're going to go ahead and click on school email. And what will happen is that as it's loading the application here for the first time, we need to install that extension, which is really, um, it's really pretty easy. So we're going to go ahead and click install extension. And you would do this um, for any of the apps that may not be installed. So I'm going to go ahead and click install. And it's free. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that blue button at the top that says free. And it says to confirm it. So I'm going to go ahead and click add. And once it has been added, I'm going to go ahead and close that box. And it says that it's been added to Chrome. So I can go ahead and close the launch pad extension. And I'm back at this page. Now I don't want this to show up again because I have already installed it. So I'm going to go ahead and click in the box, don't ask me again. And I'm going to click on continue to website. So what you'll do here in order to sign in, you'll go ahead and put in your email address, your student email address, and your password. And you're going to click sign in. Once you've signed in this one time, the next time when you log out and then you log back into Launchpad, 
it will have saved that information for you. So you won't have to do this again. This, this will be the only time that this will happen. Now if something glitchy happens and it's asking for this information again, I'm going to put together a, another video on how to check those logins and those passwords. So once you've done that, you're good to go. So then you can go back to your launch pad and you can look for the other curriculum sites. So if you are with K, if you're using the K-12 curriculum, you can click on the K-12. And um, if the extension is already there, that's great. Here you would put in your username and your software. You click save and it will store that information for you. So that's all there is to it. It's going to take a few minutes at the beginning to set this up, but once it's set up, all you'll have to do is log into Launchpad that one time, and you'll be able to go to any of the locked sites once you put in that username and password, and you will be good to go. If you should have any questions or concerns, please um, you know, notify your SLA. Um, or notify one of your teachers and we would be happy to assist you. Thanks so much.